Hello everyone, this is Grant, Developer Evangelist on the OpenShift team at Red Hat. Today the OpenShift team is happy to announce that we support Mongo 2.2 as an embeddable NoSQL cartridge for your OpenShift applications. Getting started with Mongo 2.2 couldn't be easier on OpenShift. There are two ways you can do this. I'll show you first via the command line and then on the website. First thing I'm going to do is create a OpenShift application gear. So I'll say RHC app create, give my application a name. I'll call this MyMongoDB. And then you can give your application a type. The type doesn't really matter for Mongo, so you can use anything you want, whether it be JBoss, Tomcat, PHP, Node.js. I'm going to use PHP for this one. Once you authenticate, what we're actually doing behind the scenes is talking via our REST APIs up to the OpenShift server to create your gear for you. We're also configuring any SE Linux and Linux control group policies that we need enabled for your account. We'll also set up a private Git repository for you and propagate your DNS out so it's available worldwide. Once your application has been created, you can then embed a cartridge into your OpenShift gear. The way you do that on the command line is RHC app cartridge add, pass in your application name, which in this case is my MongoDB, and then pass in dash C in the cartridge type. We're going to embed Mongo 2.2 support. I'll authenticate. And it's doing the exact same thing that it did when it created the application, except in this case it's setting up, creating, and installing a Mongo 2.2 database for us. Once the database has been created, you'll be presented with your username and password for the database. You can also verify that it is MongoDB 2.2. Here's your root user, which is admin, and your password. These are also stored as environment variables on your OpenShift gear, so you can use those at any time as well. Let's actually SSH into our machine and verify that Mongo is available. So I'm just going to copy the username and the domain name from the above command and I'm going to SSH into that gear. As you can see I'm automatically authenticated via my private and public SSH key pair that OpenShift created once you installed the client tools. Once you're on your OpenShift server you can just type in Mongo and it'll drop you into your Mongo shell. As you can see, this is MongoDB shell version 2.2. Here's my connection string, and then I can begin using uh, MongoDB just like I normally would. You can see that we do create a default Mongo database for you called MyMongoDB, which is actually the name of the application you created. So that will change depending on what you called your application. So that's how you do it on the command line. I'm going to open up a web browser, go to the OpenShift website, and perform the same steps. I'm going to log in to the OpenShift console. Once I've been authenticated to the con console, you can see all the applications you currently have running. I currently have an application running called Tomcat, which is using our brand new Tomcat cartridge. Let's add a cartridge to this. As you can see when I select on Add Cartridge, I now have the option to embed a MongoDB NoSQL database version 2.2 to my application. I'll go ahead and select that, click on Add Cartridge, and at this point it's doing the same thing that the command line version did. Once the creation of the Mongo database has been completed, you'll be presented with all the credentials to log into your system. That's all there is to using MongoDB 2.2 on OpenShift. If you have any questions, send us an email, openshift at redhat.com.